Hey there YouTube, it's Bobby aka Paginator and I'm here today with my April TBR. How are we here already? Like 2021 is going by so quickly so far. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but every day when I'm at school, like all of a sudden it'll be the end of the day and I'm like, wait, how, how did this happen so fast? So anyway, we are now entering the month of April and that means I need a new TBR. So as usual, I'm going to be using my deck of TBR and Jesse's deck of TBR, which is what inspired my deck of TBR to pull five reads for the month of April. Some months I get them all done, some months I get none done. So I'm hoping this April will be a good one. So we'll start with three pulls from my deck and we're gonna give them a good shuffle without looking and pull one out, which will be read a creepy or scary book. I think I've got one for this. All right, so I'm going to be reading a book that I recently picked up called Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. He is the author of Cemetery Boys, if you're familiar with that book. And this one, is, there's like Wonderland, like not Wonderland, Neverland vibes. Um, we have a girl named Wendy who has two young brothers. And five years ago, they vanished into the woods near their small Oregon town. And Wendy returned with no memory of where she had been or what happened. And her brothers did not return. And the town's children are starting to disappear. So the mystery surrounding her brothers is brought back into uh, the discussion of the town and the police are once again like knocking on doors, looking for answers and when Wendy like is at the point where she's like, I can't take this, she's trying to flee, she almost runs over an unconscious boy lying in the middle of the road named Peter. Um... This is interesting, so I'm going to read a little bit from this last paragraph of the dust jacket. It says, Peter, a boy she thought lived only in her stories, asks Wendy for help to rescue the missing kids, but in order to find them, Wendy must confront what's waiting for her in the woods. So this sounds like it's at least going to be creepy, maybe even scary, so I think it'll work well with this prompt. All right, we're going for card number two, and that is read a book written by a person of color. I can do that too. This book choice is The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bouley. The author is Native American and so is the main character. This book has been really, really talked about for awards and very highly praised. It is about a girl who's Donis, um, that's her name, and she says she's never quite fit in, both in her hometown and on the nearby Ojibwe reservation. She dreams of a fresh start at college, but when family tragedy strikes, Donis puts her future on hold to look after her fragile mother. The only bright spot is meeting Jamie, the charming new recruit on her brother Levi's hockey team, and she starts to fall for this guy. I, I know a little bit more, enough to know that Jamie is not there really to be a hockey player, and... There are some tragic things that are going to happen, as well as probably some adventurous things. And I'm very, very much looking forward to reading this book. Plus, look at how pretty it is. It's like, la, 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 la. Oh. Yay, I'm excited this one could make my TBR for this month. And the last card I'm going to pull from my deck says, read a book that was published in the same year or month that you were born. I'm going to have to do a little poking around online. Hang on a second. Oh! Aha! I have one, and it's beautiful, and it's gorgeous, and oh my gosh, is this going to be good. Hang on a second. This book came in a subscription box last October, and it is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. And look at those frayed pages. This is a fairy loot edition, and it is so beautiful. Ah! All right, so what we learn here is that Amelia and her twin sister, Vittoria, have been inseparable and all their lives. And Astraga, I think that's how you say it, um, witches who exist secretly among humans, um, they are Astraga, excuse me. Um, they know the dangers of drawing attention and working at their family's own Sicilian restaurant. 
avoiding notice and per persecution. But one night, Vittoria doesn't come home. And it's not long before a distraught Amelia discovers the body of her beloved twin desecrated beyond belief. Devastated, Amelia vows to find her sister's killer and seek vengeance at any cost, even if it means calling upon a dark magic that has been long forbidden. Um, and it says that she goes on to meet someone named Wrath, who is a wicked prince of hell. That she has been warned against since she was a child. He claims to be on her side, but she's like, I don't know if I trust you. So, here we go. All right, that brings us to Jesse's deck of TBR. If you don't know Jesse, their channel is Bow Ties and Books. This is the logo that you'll see on their channel, and they created this deck of TBR cards which is what inspired me to create my own deck, as I have mentioned. And so when they put their deck up on the Etsy shop, I immediately purchased one because had to. So I'm very, very pleased to have it and be able to use it for my t own TBR game. All right, let's pull our card number four for April. And that's, oh, what do we see? She thick. <laughs> 500 pages, a book over 500 pages long. Ooh, this actually works really well because in my last Alcrate box, they sent a bookmark with an Alcrate reading challenge on it, and one of their prompts is also to read a book over 500, over 500 pages. So, double dipping, yes. All right, give me a second to look amongst my TBR, and I'll be back. So I'm going to go with Wondersmith, which is book two in the Morgan Crow series. I recently re-listened to number one, and then I, I've been wanting to reread number two before I get to Holopox, which is number three. So this is about 512-ish pages. Um, I think that's what I saw when I looked at the end. Um, so this will be perfect for the this prompt. And we need one more card for the month of April, and it says, ooh, Freedom, Jewish protagonist not set in wartime. Okay, this, I've been excited for this card. I don't know if I have a book that fits it, though. So give me a minute or so. All right, so this took some research and looking up things online, but I have found a book that I already have. It's actually at the school, so I can't hold it up for you, but I will hold up my iPad with the picture. It's Kissing in America by Margot Robb. This is about 16-year-old Eva, who has found comfort in reading romance novels since the death of her father. She's read 118 of them, to be exact. And her romantic fantasies, it says, become a reality when she meets Will, who seems to truly understand Eva's grief. Now, in Goodreads, I have this marked as read, but I do not remember reading this book. I really think this is, like, mismarked, because... I do not remember it at all. So I am going to grab it from my classroom and read it. And if halfway through I realize, oh yeah, I have read this, then I'll just consider it a reread. That doesn't hurt at all. So there we go. We've got our five reads for the month of April. So that brings us to the end of my April TBR video. And as often happens, I might read more than these five. And with grad school and stuff, there could be other things that I end up reading So, in addition to that. So we'll just see where the month takes us. I hope you guys have had a great March and that your April is even more amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.